Yo, I hate this. No, 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 keep going. You, you're reviewing products made for fetuses. You need to appeal to the target audience. But I find educational Pokemon games interesting in like an ironic parody kind of way. And I'm like the oldest content creator at this point. Okay, well just because you have the interests of an undeveloped egg doesn't mean I need to care. Now dance and sing. The attention span is two milliseconds. We're losing viewers. Pokemon gotta teach us numbers. And change all our diapers, please. Before anyone asks, no, I have still not played a main series Pokemon game, but who would need to when you have such fun games as Nisjalnir, Nansela, Grippy Generaga? It's trying to translate advanced generation from English to English. I think that's that's where it's going wrong, because my Japanese is perfect other than that. So this first one, we've got quite a few, and it was very hard to find these, so I, I'm hoping even the, the die-hard Pokemon fans Maybe even those so diehard they've actually played a real Pokemon game won't even have heard of these before. This is a Sega Pico game. Uh, I don't know. It says Advanced Generation, so it's something to do with Star Trek. Got its own custom Pikachu controller, which I personally find adorable. Comes with two children. Kind of a good deal. On the back, you can see Pikachu Son and Ash Chan. She's so cute. So let's open this thing. Dude! It comes inside a game. Pico's head. You just had manuals? There's there's babies. They they knew the audience for this video. Oh my gosh. This seems very fresh. Look at that. I've I've already played two seconds of the game. I need to stop. I need to wait till the testing area. <laughs> there's a face sticking out there. They just knew he'd need some air. So they made sure to give him a little air hole. This is a big controller. I can see why this would teach you how to spell. So, okay, now I, I could actually believe that this is a little older. This cord's not in the greatest shape. It actually looks like it's made of hardened caramel. 2004. This was GameCube era? I like the Pico, but was you doing, was you doing that in 2004, Sega? Who's that Pokemon? It's Vigo! Wow! How do I know if the console's turned on? What I want to know is what happened to their volume. The audio is so quiet. <sighs> but honestly, I don't care. All Sega Pico music is the same. I've played all the games besides this one. Unfortunately, I don't know what Ash is saying. I'm not very good at lip reading. Okay, I, I get it, I get it. You mash the red one to go, and the white one to jump. Who are those guys? Oh! Oh, that was close. Good thing Timmy and Tommy, the twins, were here. I don't know about Pokemon. I'm pretty sure Meowth developed a crack addiction during that race. All right, we beat the first Pikachu. Pikachu 2! All right, Meowth, what do you do? Yingong, yingong. That's just what he sounds like. I don't make, I don't make these things up. Piplup. Oh, I get to play as Piplup. Show me pictures of Piplup. Showing pictures that match. Doggone it! They're all the same! I don't know. I'm gonna guess it's the same thing, right? Swim. I think this one's just mashing. Woo! Good thing I got through those bubbles. I wonder where the finish line is. He's drowning, help him! You're a fish and you lost to a cat. Shows how good you are. Pokemon is a weird world. One point for Piplup. That's his house right there with a P on it. Page three, Pikachu. This one might have some strategy to it. So I'm just turning Pikachu right and left. This has become a third person shooter rather quickly. And the only reason it's so qu rather quickly to me is because I'm on the Sega Pico and did not expect this. He won? Pikachu passed away. I mean, you always get one, and it didn't really stop me from just flipping the page and going on to the next one, so... Yeah, this one's a little bit deathly. What happens if I click on the Chargizard? Ash, you're mute. You need to... How do you tell someone they're mute? All right, Pikachu go. Pikachu go. All right, watch out for that fire. Pikachu burned. All right, watch out for that fire. Pikachu burned. Yeah, I couldn't really do much about that. I don't know how any of these controls work. Ash tried to tell me. The buttons have Pokemon on them. I don't know what it means. Good job, Pikachu. Uh, googie, googie, googie. 
This is not easy. This is not easy because I move in a position and then Pikachu gets hurt. And by the time I'm moving there, like it's too, it's too late to go back. They're not giving me enough reaction time. <laughs> you know, he's rocking out to some tunes. Awesome, we freed Charizard and he's so happy now. And Chameleon, um, everything's good now. We beat the game, we're all best friends. Charizard is, he's just choking on some noodles. That's the last page. Okay, well, I guess we beat the game. What happens if I touch Twig Man? You know, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, this is fine, and I understand how to play it at least, but like, what am I learning? I don't, I'm not, I don't even know the name of the Pokemon, because I can't hear them. And also, this computer is playing things perfectly. I, like, how am I supposed to beat that? What are you, what are you doing that to me for? Well, what did we learn today? The instructors, uh, instructions have pictures of funny babies. I kind of learned that. Other than that, I don't know. Try to pull the plug on the console. The console gets really upset with you. I learned that too, I didn't know that. So, you know, there's a little to be learned here. I mean, I didn't know those two were in love. So, you know, some stuff was learned. The big thing everyone wants to know, if I had a one day old child, would I let them play this game to learn anything? And I, I honestly think the only thing it would teach them is how to be mute. Next up, we got Pokemon Teaches Typing and the sequel I actually bought two of these, and it wasn't my intention. As much as I'd like to take credit for buying two copies, two identical copies of Learn with Pokemon Typing Adventure, Sharpen Your Typing Skills While Catching Pokemon, that's the whole name. I actually was sent one on accident, but I'm not going to question it. This one is opened already, so I'll, I'll open this one. This one's got a sticker on it, so I'll open this one. Now, as far as I'm aware, this is the only other typing game Nintendo ever did besides Mario Teaches Typing. It's for the DS. How do you type on the DS? Well, you get this little Game Boy. Just kidding. I don't actually know what this is. Well, you get these two batteries. Just kidding. You don't type with these either. I, I'm, lying is my favorite, to be honest. This is the game cartridge. All right, that one wasn't as good. No, it's already at zero. You just get this really cool little uh, wireless keyboard. Looking forward to this. I also had to buy a DS just for the purpose of playing this, and no, I don't have a DS with a capture card because I'm not a rocket scientist. I mean, it's awesome. So next up, uh, we've got this Pokemon typing adventure game. I'll just leave it unopened. Just imagine I played through the whole joke and that it was funny. Oh, look, it's a Mario's wife, Pikachu. It's a time for you to kiss me. Welcome back. Learn with Pokemon. Post haste, God save the queen. I will sit properly and type like a man. Type the keys that appear on the balls. <laughs> she said keys. <laughs> she said L. We just discovered the alphabet. British people who Tell me I'm doing good, make me feel like I'm really doing good. Elite Typist Club has given you the title of So-So Typist. <laughs> well, I'm not very bad at typing, so they must have just had a stroke. They're like, so, so, typist. There's sounds every time I type. Like right now, I'm really not. Like I have to look at the keys still. Normally I type with two fingers. I have muscle memory down for certain words, but individual typing is not that fast. And also, you, you are like one of maybe five people out of a, several thousand that may watch this who actually care. And guess what? Did you get silver medal and the title of so, 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 so typist? I don't think any of this really needs Pokemon. All the things that I'm typing have nothing to do with the actual Pokemon as far as I can tell. If it has something to do with their names, then that would be one thing but they're not telling me whether or not it does, and I don't know the names of Pokemon, so... It does make me feel good about myself, considering how really bad I generally am at typing. Five medals. I am now a beginner typist. Once again, I'm better than that. Whoever said that was having a stroke, and they're like, begin, er, type... All right, this joke's not funny anymore. The sounds are horrifying. Is this what Pokemon actually sound like? Give me the full names. Dove, that's not a thing. Oh, I've got to. 
I have to do, I am so glad, dude, if I didn't do that, I think my family would have been done for. Music is good, graphics are good. If I actually cared about form, like typing form, this would be a really good way to do it. I never stop. I don't stop. I, I can't stop. I'm, I'm, I'm incapable of stopping. I have a problem. And this is actually kind of fun. Normally I would have quit by now. Mario's teaches typing I really didn't play much of. This would be easier to type if I actually knew what the dinosaurs were. What <laughs> the dinosaur? If I actually knew what all the Pokemon were called. If I knew the whole word, I could just spell it out in like two seconds. But I have to let it show me the whole thing first. All right, well that was that game. This gets a better than Mario teaches typing out of 10. It gets a better than Mario teaches typing two uh, out of 10 because Mario teaches typing two is exactly the same as the first Mario teaches typing, but with better cutscenes. And there's this thing. I don't know what this was. Is this for this? Does anyone type like this? I can't type like this. I would hate that. I give this a zero out of 10. Not quite as good as Mario teaches typing. You know, Pokemon cards are all the rage right now. Actually, they've always been all the rage for as long as I've been alive. And it's kind of creepy, to be honest, but they're just pieces of paper. Like I know there's some man-made artificial value put to them. What if your Pokemon cards were actually CDs that you could play? Shouldn't they be worth like a million times more? Because not only will they not burn by being within an inch of a flame, but they also go in your computer and provide possibly a lifetime of fun. Whereas Pokemon cards are like, I mean, I have them, they're worth money. They're essentially just dollar bills at this point. Like, what do you do with dollar bills? Now, quarters and dimes and nickels you can actually flip and play a 50-50 game with. So these little CDs, they're not even around, which is pretty interesting. And, oh, this is too! <gasps> I got a free Charmander. I couldn't find a ton of info on these. In fact, I, I mean, I couldn't find a ton of info on any of these things. You go ahead and do with your Squirtle. See, I wouldn't talk like this to some friggin' cards. Collect the CDs, or CDs hands, next time you go outside. That's what I think. All of these are gonna be the same game, but I assume you just have a different Pokemon buddy. And personally, I would rather be friends with Charmander for his arson abilities, so I'm just gonna go with that. It's spinning it. Considering it's a square, I'm a little bit surprised, not gonna lie. Uh -huh. That was not a fake job. Would you like to install the Pokemon Sanctuary? What is that? Select a folder to install the Pokemon Sanctuary. One moment, please, while we load the Pokemon Sanctuary onto your hard drive. I feel like I'm falling for a scam. Okay, what do I do? So I, I flip it, and then I find the answer. Six? All right, so that's about six, I think. So we should find the... That was, that was the joke I was gonna make. Yes, these are the same. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, it is. There it is! Great work. You have freed the wild Pokemon. This picture will be added to your print collection. Are, really? No way. You can print out a picture of your Pokemon. I, dude, I had games as a kid that always did this and I could never print. This is the greatest moment of my entire life. Oh my God. <laughs> Gotta learn them all. That is fantastic. All right, I'll keep this here. Who needs Pokemon cards? Dude, you can just print pictures of Pokemon with this, uh, with this app. You are entering the Pokemon Sanctuary. Only Pokemon trainers are allowed past this point. Whoops. All right, I'll go. Oh, that's me and Pikachu. What a good frame of picture, by the way. Who resides at a state's capital? Pokemon. Be careful. If you are wrong, you will move back one point. And die. Okay. After five years of math later. Great work. You have free the You have freak. Why does he have spirits around him this time? Go what do we got? Observation lab. I get a Pikachu button. He's huge. Click on lighted square to observe wild Pokemon in their natural habitat. Ah, there he is. Look at him. He's so active in his current habitat. He's sick today. He's throwing up. Come back soon, Pokemon trainer. All right, let's try one other. Uh, we'll do Bulbasaur. You're gonna flip and start? Oh, oh no. Hello? Oh, everything's gone black. 
PC not responding. This specific computer. This one? Not responding. How do I... Oh, yeah, that's the next step, I guess, isn't it? I guess I dodged a bullet by doing the Charmander one. And I really did get a nice picture out of that. Probably... Probably... Yeah, probably put it right here. Something like that. And then I'll never forget. So with this game, I did learn... Uh... Don't play old games. All right, this is exciting right here. It's a Pokemon handheld game console. I don't know if it's like a leapfrog thing. In fact, I don't know anything about it, but I am very excited because this is just a new console that I'll be able to love and play now and could be more accessible and fun of a party console than the Switch. I've never heard of this before and neither has anyone else. So nobody can say that this won't be possibly a better console. Do you like the sound quality right now, by the way? This is, uh, well, this is pretty nice here. Probably touch screen, it's got all the balls. Except they did this neat thing where normally balls are circular. They went with a square design here for the balls. Balls. Oh yeah, I could see this probably functioning correctly. It says I have full bars of Wi-Fi, three out of five dots, which could mean a lot, and that it's charging. None of those things are true. No buttons over here, which is a little bit hard if you're doing some advanced melee tech. Never get bored, I assume. And if you do get bored, it makes a lovely dinner platter. Do I have any food on set? Food on set. Someone bring me some food to put on it. Everyone's busy. What is this? Now we can test the breathtaking Pokemon console. But beware, my sweet scented cream makes opponents lose the will to live. And if an eager gets its hands and mouth on it, your partner, they will probably die in a car crash. But luckily, your own Pokemon can die. You can find a cease. Can't wait to eat some Pokemon. Because I'm in the kitchen, not because I'm a cannibal. Pika Gordonani? That means Pokemon handheld console. What? Is that Pikachu? Oh, do I like make a dance for him to do? A little bit of this, a little bit of that, one of these, all right, what do we got? Oh. <laughs> oh, dude, look at how many likes I got. YouTube in PikaTube? Those look like really good videos. 222 views? Meow, if you're slacking a little bit. All right, well, that was neat. So you can pretend like YouTube. Kids in Japan apparently get the cool handheld Leapfrog-esque toys where you can pretend that YouTube's real. Music? All right, let's give it a go. Kaka pee pee. <laughs> Don't talk to me like that. Which one of these is a pencil? That's not even a pencil. Girl and boy. One day, the boy was in the house. One day, the boy was in the house. Oh, he wasn't in the house. I got that wrong. He was outside the house. We are... Shush! Dude, I'm trying to talk. Every time I go to say my line, you say something. Shush! Dude, I'm trying to talk. At least I got free Pika points. Okay, so there's some stories that you can write. Let's see what Chuck is. Sorry, too much for my brain. Ooh, sing along, record. Pingers! Pika? Yes! All right, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Jigglypuff! Pika clock? Oh, Pika money. Okay, I'm good at money. Three tens and a five. Let's go. I actually know Japanese now. Like this money has taught me what actual Japanese is. Should I say what, what the Pokemon actually is or not? What will be the funnier joke here? It's a hamster. Coloring, I can color. The narrative of this game, because I don't understand any of the words, can be whatever I want. Like this might not even be drawing art coloring. This could be rubbing soy sauce on a white Eevee's face. I feel like they'd put that in a kid's game. 
She also ate a family of three and is in prison because of it. This is the police officer who arrested her. She is as tall as a two-story building. Let's go to the United States. What are we known for? Burger. <laughs> Sorry, what? Ebui. Is that why she says that in the anime? Like, this is an actually a legitimate question. She's like, yeah, boy. I think that's just how she says it in the Japanese one, and so they probably didn't care to redub it in the English version. Interesting. I think that's why Bulbasaur says Shigitane in the anime. This is a pretty cool little device. What did this game teach me? It teaches me it's hard to turn off. Miga <laughs> Mika. Uh, this game taught me how to love. All right, we got two more things, despite the looks of it. This is a Samsung Galaxy Tab. Mm, pick a number. And I have this as a visual, vis, visual, visual representation for Pokemon Playhouse. In a minute, I'm gonna actually play it, and then actually, you'll actually see what it's like. In fact, that's the whole purpose of this video, is to show you what these games are like. But I figured before I'd show you, I'd just show you in frozen picture form. That's way less exciting. But just kind of to hype you up, like, Oh, you just, you can't wait to see Owl Guy. <laughs> and of course, regular puppy. Classic Pokemon. <laughs> it's my wife. Don't you forget it. Anyway. Welcome to Pokemon Friend House. Pokey Playhouse. Now this one's fresh. This might be the only educational Pokemon, Pokemon game Playhouse. in the last 20 years. Goodness gracious, is this adorable. Welcome to Pokemon Playhouse. This is where Pokemon like Pikachu come to play. My Pokemon while you're here. <laughs> Let's look at your Pokemon. Did Pikachu just go? No. <laughs> Pretty sure he doesn't do that. Oh, yeah, I'll check it out. These are your Pokemon friends. Alolan Raichu. Don't, don't even give me like the regional designations as if I know what that means. I don't know this guy. This guy doesn't like me. This guy doesn't like me. This guy, I wish this guy liked me. This guy doesn't like me and she doesn't like me and that's my wife. Don't you forget it. Oh, before I forget, you need to know- Oh my gosh, I like how they're Pokemon. still putting tutorials you can't Pokemon, skip in the children's hey. games. Just hey. let me play the game. I'm two freaking years old. I don't want to sit here and listen to you blabbing, but you're not even blabbing. All right, now you play there. All right, now play down, play over here. All right, now play on that. All right, go over here. <gasps> what? All right, I'm speed running, speed running this game. Uh, start my splits. Someone put the splits, please. All right, I think the fastest strat is to move this guy around. He's the biggest, so he probably counts for the most points, right? And if you do it fast enough, he'll keep gaining momentum and he'll shoot backwards over these mountains eventually. There he is! The great pumpkin! Great! You found- Hug! All right! There's another crack! Me when I go to the beach. <laughs> Bulbasaur tries to help. Bulbasaur tried to help, but all he did was- <laughs> Yeah, you screwed up there, kid. Don't know what to tell ya. Welcome to the tower. This is like the bar. This is the nightclub for Pokemon. <laughs> it's times like this when I remember I'm playing games for two-year-olds. That's definitely... That looks like Picky Pet. No, it really now doesn't. Your thing... <sighs> games where you learn numbers and letters would be like for fetuses. That's what I've been saying this entire video. This is the equivalent of like, Games for kids who haven't even been conceived yet. That's that's how young we're talking here. And this is just another game of indoctrination. It's gonna teach you Pokemon before they even Where learn- Where would you like to go? <laughs> before they even learn their ABCs and 123s and who their mom and dad are. I will give it that. Very cute game, very nice art style. Very hope for thumbnail. I'll never forget you. All right, we've come a long way to get to this final entry. And in all honesty, I think it's the most exciting and the most traditional down-to-earth entry in this series. There comes a time when we need to remember that not all games are video games. Some games are books. It's just straight up not true. But again, I do love lying. This is the Pokemon Prim Prim Primers, probably an Amazon Prime partnership, ABC book. She's, she cannot believe that we don't know how to spell yet. Pikachu, pronounced p ka -chu. This book does touch a little bit on the topic of urine. Who's that Pokemon atop the apple tree? Ah, 
it was Apple. I mean, I couldn't have told you what Gumi was. You Gumi and his best friend, who's running the ice cream store? We'll never freaking know. An ice type Pokemon helps the ice cream cold. I wasn't aware that Pokemon could both drive and engage in capitalism. I will keep note of this. This is a regular real life animal. Again, some Pokemon really aren't that creative. This is just an angry dog. Jigglypuff likes to bump her tunes when she's hanging out on the front porch of her hoodly estate. Now Ninetales is near a volcano. Let's see what happens here. Oh, Ninetales has melted and died. Who is over there? I don't know. Guess what's hiding under the towel? If anyone ever asks you that, do not reply. In fact, you may want to run. All right, I'm too curious. <laughs> this is 90% of the time going to be the outcome, like dead honestly. Help Quagmire look for berries to eat. Sorry, Quagmire, I don't want to. Shh, Squirtle is sleeping. There's my wife. Shh. Shut up! This one is the pig. I know that because I am smart. What a treat, I will eat the pig. Bacon. Some Pokemon go through some mental struggles here and there. Sometimes burnout. Eevee broke out of burnout. She's okay to upload to YouTube again. V is for what is under the volcano? <gasps> it's Lucinio. Zebruska heard a strange noise. It was a bomb. Congrats, trainer. You've met so many Pokemon, from Apom to Zebriska. You've earned this medal. Anyway, Pokemon Primers, ABC book. It was pretty awesome. It was written by Simcha. I do believe that's a Pokemon. Pokemon have gotten pretty intelligent. And in all honesty, it's it's probably because of all these educational games. They can teach themselves how to type. They can teach them whatever's on this disc. I haven't actually played them yet. But if I don't say that, or I at least don't put it in the video, then as far as you're concerned, the current Peter you're seeing is smarter than the one before. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend I didn't say that. Current form of Peter knows exactly what's in these discs. In fact, I know everything because I played the educational Pokemon games and the educational Sonic games and the educational Mario games. So more than likely from all this educational content, I learned something. I probably learned a Pokemon. We're gonna flip to a random page and, and see. I already knew what that was. What is this guy? Monokuma. Pretty close, pretty close. As always with these educational videos, I wanna leave you with a little word of advice that's helpful for learning and avoiding making mistakes and just being generally knowledgeable uh, or at least academically versed. Don't, don't be stupid. It's not that hard. And try and lay off the caffeine. Might be unhappy for a week, but you'll be better off without it. That got strangely political. Pokemon, goo 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 gaga. Gosh, nobody takes me freaking seriously. I guarantee there are other people my age who care about this stuff. Welcome back to more video game controllers. 